Hey, what's up, Children's Ministry World? It is officially 2023, which means it's time for the very first episode of What's Hot and What's Not in Children's Ministry. And you guys, this year, we are going to start the year off strong because today, I want to talk to you about leveling up when it comes to your emotional intelligence in your leadership. Why is this important? Because when it comes to children's ministry, being mindful, being empathetic, being authentic with your volunteers, being intentional about building a relationship with them, getting to know them outside of what they offer, your children's ministry department, now that is hot. But you know what? Walking around with this self-entitled attitude of I'm the leader, you signed up to serve, and you need to be here for your commitment, and you're supposed to be doing this for Jesus anyway, type of attitude is not. So check this out. We are going to set you up. You're not going to have these problems because we are about to make you a building relationships guru as you enter into 2023. So don't miss these hot tips, all right? So stick around and find out. You made it! You didn't quit when it was hard. You didn't quit when they disappointed you. You didn't quit because you knew the mission was so much bigger than yourself. So I need for you to celebrate one another. Hey, you guys, I am going to share with you a hard truth moment. People don't care what their commitment is if they think that you suck as a leader and that you're walking around treating them like they're a non-factor, like they're a fixture to what you're trying to accomplish in the children's ministry. That is not going to fly. Listen, your volunteers, they carry weights. They have their own families. They have emotions and concerns and feelings. Getting to know what some of those are is only going to help you in the long run. Please don't get stuck in the trap of, I just don't have time to build relationships. Listen, if you are too busy to connect with your children's ministry volunteers today, then when you need them, they're going to be too busy for you tomorrow. Listen, you guys, when people feel like you care about them, when your volunteers feel that connection from you, I am telling you, it is energizing. It is motivating. It makes people want to jump through hoops and overextend themselves for you when they don't have to because they want to, because they consider you to be a person who truly cares about them. So check this out. I'm going to give you three tips to help you to better connect with your children's ministry volunteers in the new year. Tip number one Utilize social media. Listen, you guys, if you are a leader in children's ministry, if you are a leader of people, you need to be on social media. No excuses, 2023. Tons of people share what's going on in their personal lives on social media. That's why you need to be there. It's an amazing way to get into the lives. It's like the ultimate cheat to figure out what is going on with your volunteers. Take advantage of it. Use it to rejoice with those who are rejoicing, to mourn with those who are mourning. And don't just look at the content. Make sure that you're engaging with their content. Make sure that you're interacting and that you're commenting. And when you can, carry on the conversation in person. Tip number two, pick up the phone and have a conversation. And you know what, guys? This doesn't have to be weird, so don't make it weird. And you don't have to talk about children's ministry Ask about someone's life, how they're doing, what's going on, how are you feeling since your mom passed away, whatever it is, make sure that you're authentic because authenticity breeds transparency and you never know, you just might stumble upon an amazing friendship. And last but not least, tip number three, set a date. And just so we're clear, I'm not asking you to date your volunteers, but what I am asking you to do is to be intentional and drop some dates in your calendar for some in-person meetups. Maybe you meet someone for lunch. Maybe you just meet someone for coffee. Whatever it is, the whole point is to set a stage to listen to someone else share their experiences and share your own as well. You know, getting to know your team and building relationships with people that you don't know or people you don't talk to on a regular basis, it can be intimidating. 
It requires an investment of your time and maybe even of your resources. But listen, if you are looking to level up your leadership in 2023, then it is the worthiest investment that you can make, and not only yourself, but in your children's ministry department. Hey, you guys, that's it for this week's episode of What's Hot and What's Not in Children's Ministry. We will see you next time, same time, same place. Thank you.